Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Centennial Park for the 2024 Briarwood Juicers Energy Bowl. Today we're going to see the number one seed Cherrywood Cowboys with a 5-1 record facing off against a four seed Lindenwood Lakers with a 0-6 record. Here come the number four seed Lemon Wood Lakers. And here come the one seed Cherrywood Cowboys. It's the first MFL playoff game. Welcome to Centennial Park for the Briarwood Juicers Energy Bowl. Today we're going to use a uh, Globe Watch Energy Services coin. Uh, this is Globe. This is or, uh, this is Globe. This is Compass. We draw like a Globe or something. We'll put it on. We'll get Compass. All right. Lemonwood calls Compass. It is Globe. All right. We will defer to halftime. Which way would y'all like to attack? We will first that way. Lemonwood will attack this way, Sherwood will defer to the second half. Let's send it to the weather update. Welcome to the weather update. Today you're going to see the hottest game of the season so far, coming in at 80 degrees. Other than the heat, the conditions are perfect. So let's send it down the field for some energy bowl football. And here we are. The ball is about to get kicked off for the first ever MFL postseason game. And here we go. We are underway in the MFL playoffs. EJ will slip. Here's Murrow going to return. Jackson Everett getting some great blocks on Robinson. He wants to find a corner, and Zeke Bryant will get him down. And it's a good return to start off the game for Lemonwood. EJ just going to sub for the first half here today. This is going to be a very good pass, and it'll be caught by EJ, the temporary sub. EJ is rumored to enter the MFL draft. Here's Bryce Murrow. Wants to throw, and it's picked off by Robinson. Jake Robinson, last year's game of college. Seth so Fowler, Texas Gayhorns University. And here's Robinson. He wants to run and he will be down. Here's Bryant going to be in for his second play as quarterback. He's going to snap back, going to pump fake, going to throw to Robinson and it's caught. And you can already see Zeke Bryant wants to hit Robinson a lot in this game. And it'll be a pass to Seth. Seth drops it though. Seth, known for playing defense, is going to play offense here in the Energy Bowl. This is going to be dropped. Here's Bryant. He wants to draw back. He's going to have Everett. Going to rush him. Going to throw deep. Head tap of a catch by Robinson. Touchdown, Cherrywood Cowboys. Cherrywood, a dream start once again. It seems like they have a dream start every game. An interception from Robinson. A touchdown from Robinson. Pass deep to Seth Fowler, and it'll nearly be picked off. A 6-0 lead already for the Cherrywood Cowboys, even though they deferred to halftime and didn't get the ball first. Here's a return from EJ. Wants to get to that side. He will slip. Here we go, we're gonna zoom in the camera a little bit. EJ is already tired. And you can see he's already gassed. And you might think that's pretty out of shape. And yeah, I guess you could say it is, but it's super hot out here. This is gonna be dropped by Everett. Robinson making sure it didn't catch it. And man, it's not necessarily super hot out here, only 80 degrees, but the fact that it's humid makes it worse. Here is EJ going to be back at quarterback. Going to let this one fly, and it'll be dropped by Bryce Murrow. 
Bryce Murrow wants to lead his team to a victory today. And this will be punted. Robinson will return it. And he will be down by Bryce Murrow in the backfield. No, he escaped him. My mistake, he was only down by one. Here's Bryant, going to be back to pass for the one seed Cowboys. This will be to Jake. It's looking like a trick play. It's going to be thrown deep. Caught by Seth Fowler. Touchdown, Cherrywood Cowboys. Ain't going to be back to pass. He wants to throw deep to Fowler, and it's caught. This will make it 14-0. The Cherrywood Cowboys are already up by 14 on the board. And you can tell just how much they want that City Bull spot. This could be deep and out of bounds. Who are they going to put in that quarterback? It is going to be Jackson Everett. They're going to go in the huddle together. Smart decision by Lindenwood. They're just going to wait this clock out. And this will end the first quarter. The Cherrywood Cowboys are up 14-0 over the Lakers. And here we are to begin the second quarter of today's game. This is going to be picked off by Robinson. They're going to say he was down. Robinson making a head tap and sending EJ to the ground. That's one of the season highlights for him right there. Bryant wants to take off. He's going to run, and he will be down by Jackson. Here's Bryant. He's marching far down the field, going to throw deep to Fowler. Wide open, touchdown, Cowboy. And three straight unanswered touchdowns. This is already looking like a blowout, and that'll be another two-point conversion. Seth Fowler makes it 22 to nothing. And here's Lemonwood. This will go out of bounds. Here comes the Lemonwood offense. They're going to put EJ back at quarterback despite his struggles in this game. He's going to throw deep. This will be caught by Jackson. Taken for a Lemonwood touchdown. And that makes you happy if you're a Lemonwood fan. Here's Lemonwood going to drop back. Jackson Everett. Back to pass. Going to throw deep and it is batted down. Jake Robinson showing why he plays DB. He's super tall and has really long arms. This will be kicked off, and this will be touched by Robinson. He needs to recover it. He will, and he will be down. No, he won't be down. And now he is down. Here's Zeke Bryant. Going to be back to pass for the Cherrywood Cowboys. Going to drop back. Going to hit Robinson on a screen pass. He's going to reach. He's going to pick up the first down for the Cherrywood Cowboys. Great play. Here's Zeke Bryant. He's going to be back to drop. He's going to scramble out, going to throw it away. Great pressure from Bryce Murrow. You can see he's playing a lot better in this game. Here's Bryant, going to be back to pass for Cherrywood. He's going to hit. Seth Fowler, it's batted down by Jackson. And despite the scoreboard, Lemonwood is kind of on a roll right now. Going to throw deep, and I jinxed it. Jake Robinson makes a catch. Here's Bryant, going to be back to pass. Going to throw deep to Jake Robinson. There he is. Another touchdown. For the Cowboys. And that's huge. This will put him up three possessions. Going to throw in. It'll be caught by Seth Fowler. EJ is gassed. Here's Bryant. Going to kick it off. And this will be touched. And it will roll out. This will count as a safety. Because he touched it. And then it bounced into the end zone. So not only will this give Cherry with two points. They're going to receive the ball. Here is Seth Fowler. Going to throw deep, going to be batted down. Gonna put Robinson at quarterback, not something they've done a lot. This will be batted down by EJ. Zeke Bryant going to go back in at the quarterback spot. Going to throw deep, and it's caught by Robinson, and he slips. Because of the soft grass, the slip would not hurt at all, besides a great house slip, which would hurt a lot. And an onsides will bring him back five yards. Robinson wants to throw. He's a ton of time, going to unleash, and this will be caught. Zeke Bryant with the reception, taking it in for the Cherrywood touchdown. Here's the Cherrywood Cowboys. Seth Fowler going to throw, and it will be incomplete. And this will be kicked off to the Lemonwood. Bryce Murrow wants to recover it. He's got a block. He's going to run. He tries to escape. Here's EJ back at quarterback, going to throw, and it's caught by Bryce Murrow, and he will be down a couple yards short. And Lemonwood's chance to attempt to get back into the game is right here. They're going to send it into the huddle, something they've done quite a few, lot in this game. And here it comes. Here's the play. Everett going to send a man in motion. It's going to be headed off, and he will take it, and it is out of bounds. Here is Lemonwood. Cherrywood trying to defend their territory. Bryce Murray's going to draw back. Wants to throw, and it will be incomplete. 
And that'll do it for the first half of play. The Sherwood Cowboys drop 38 to 6 in the Energy Bowl over the Lindenwood Lakers. Do you guys you bit think you'll be able to keep up this lead? Yeah, I think we can keep up the lead. We just need to uh, play some better defense or uh, keep playing good defense. We've been playing amazing defense and uh, our offense has been uh, very productive. They've been playing really messy, especially with that safety play. And uh, we have a 38 to 6 lead right now. All we need to do is just secure it and we are getting a trip to the city goal. Do you guys think you'll be able to win this game and get up the lead? Yeah, we just need a, a, a three on our rushing and starting the white receiver. And that's probably our weakest mm -hmm. This is how the Briarwood juicers make their lemonade. First, they put in fresh cold water. Next up, they will put the Briarwood juicers lemonade mix in. Then let the favor mix sink in. This week's flavor is citrus. And check it out, Seth Fowler loves it. We are back here in the third quarter. Bryant will be down on the kick return, and here come the Cherrywood offense to start off the second half. Bryant going to drop back. Bryant going to hike. It's a 2v2. Seth Fowler is the only one in, and this will be incomplete miscommunication. And here is Bryant going to be back to pass for the Cherrywood offense. Going to escape Murrow, going to run, going to try to escape Jackson, and he can't, but he will be down. A great play from Bryant. He's not known for scrambling, but he's not necessarily slow. And here he is. Lemonwood will sack. And Bryant, a bit of a back injury there. And that's another sack. Back to back for Lemonwood. This will be a pass out. Going to be caught by Bryant. He will be a couple yards short. Cherrywood's chance to score. Going to throw. It's incomplete. And here is Bryant. Back to pass. He wants Seth. Going to be sacked again. And you can tell he's in a lot of pain from his back. Here he is. Going to escape. Going to throw. Going to catch. But that was fourth down, so Lemonwood will take over. Everett going to throw, and it was nearly picked off. They're lucky Bryant can't jump that high because he could have picked that off with ease. Here is Murrow. Play action. Gonna hit him, and this will be picked. Seth Fowler with the interception. What a game from Fowler. Bryant is gonna escape Murrow. Gonna make a move, and he will be out of bounds. You've seen him scrambling a lot. Here he is. Gonna throw to Seth. Short gain, and he will be down. Bryant gonna be back to pass. Going to throw it. Seth Fowler makes the catch. And they're inching closer to the end zone. Bryant makes a move, gonna escape, gonna stay in bounds. Touchdown, Cherrywood Cowboys. And here they are, up 44-6. to six. Bryant gonna get a pass out, it's picked off by Jackson. He wants to escape and he nearly got two, but he can't. Here is the throw off, this will be a touchback. And here comes the Lemonwood offense, who's not seen very much production, not just today, but on the season. And here is Murrow, gonna be back to pass sacked. Here's Murrow, second down. He wants to get a pass out. Just letting you know, there is a no rushing rule after that play. Robinson will make the interception. He held on to it. He's going to escape Jackson. He has a block, makes a move, going to get to the outside. What a play from Robinson. Takes it in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Play of the year for Jake Robinson. That'll go not just on the game highlight reel, but on the season highlight reel. Going to be a pass to Seth for the two. It's caught. That makes it 52-6, to six, and this will end the third. And at the end of the third quarter, it's a blowout. The Sherwood Cowboys have a 52-6 to six lead over the Lindenwood Lakers. And it's easily safe to say that the Cherrywood Cowboys are going to get a spot here in the City Bowl. And you can see here's Lindenwood. Murrow going to be back to pass. The no rushing rule might cause a bit longer plays. He can't run it. He has to get a pass out. He can't throw that far. Here he is. Wants to run. Going to get a pass out. And it is dropped by Everett. Here is Murrow. He will be back to pass. He wants to get a pass out. And it's dropped by Everett. Two straight drops for Jackson Everett. He hasn't necessarily lived up to the hype. He And here's the Cowboys going to throw deep. Robinson! Another catch, another two. That makes it 58-6. to six. 
Here's Bryant, gonna throw, gonna catch. And here is Lemonwood. Murrow gonna be back to pass. Gonna throw, gonna be underthrown. Here is Murrow, gonna be back to pass once again. Lemonwood, their season is over and heading into the off season, these are their last plays. He wants to get a pass out. He can't. He's under pressure by Seth. Going to get a pass out. Hey, batted down straps. by Robinson. Man, Robinson has gone off in this game, and he will get him down. And then Wood going to throw. It's incomplete. And this will switch sides on the cameraman. Here is Murrow. Back to pass. He wants to get a pass out. Seth has him under pressure. He's going to throw, and it's going to be caught by Everett. One minute this remaining. This will get Lemonwood a first down. Here is Murrow. He wants to pass. He wants a man. Seth Fowler face to face with him. Here he is, providing as much pressure as he can. This play is really long. Lemonwood hoping to get some type of offensive production. Here he is. He wants to throw it. It'll be up. Hands hey! up! Robinson over Everett. Here is Bryant. He's going to be back to pass following Jake's head tap over Jackson Everett. Here he is. Going to snap back for the first play of the offensive drive. He will knee, and that'll be the second last play of the game. And here it is. It'll come to a knee on this play, and the Jerry Wood Cowboys are headed to the City Bowl. What do you think about this win? I mean, it's huge. It's amazing. I mean, we took care of business today. We did really good. And I think if we can do this, if we can play that good again in the City Bowl, I mean, we played amazing today. Even without Ryan, we still came away with a huge blowout victory. You think you'll be champions of this year? I mean, if we play like, if we played like that without our best receiver, I think we could, uh, I think me and Ryan could lead our team to a victory. I mean, obviously, Jake Robinson coming away with the MVP today with the trophy. I mean, it was amazing. He played really well. And uh, Seth Fowler, I mean, he was open on all those uh, short passes. And we all played really good. We all did our part. I mean, yeah, Jake got the MVP, but we all did our part. We all played amazing, and we all did really well. I hope that we do really good in the City Bowl. Um, we just got to practice, and uh, three weeks ahead, yeah. Incident, and he's excited again.